Hello everybody and welcome back to the continuation of our Queen Helgar Dwarf Army. Well, I've been showing you a whole bunch of Dwarf Warriors with a shield and some kind of hand weapon, but today we're going to show you the dual hand weapon wielding Old Dwarf Warriors from the Queen Helga Army. Now these models came as a set of 16, but don't let that stop you from watching the video. <laughs> Anyway, check out what we have in our current Warhammer lineup right down here at Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada by visiting www.monster-hobbies.ca. And without further ado, let's go down and check out these amazing warriors. In the last two videos, we showed you dwarf warriors with hammers, axes, and shields. And today we are going to show you the dwarf warriors with the two-handed weapons. These Dwarf Warriors were built using an older set of Dwarf Warriors, which of course came with the 16 models for back in the day for Warhammer Fantasy when unit sizes were basically a build-as-you-go sort of deal. These models are painted green to match Queen Helgar's army, and again they use the testers' paints as a base. These are the Warriors from behind, and again you can see the excellent chainmail that is in the back of each of the dwarf armor and the different styles of axes that they use. These models were a lot of fun to build back in the day and even now I can field them every now and again as dwarf longbeards with great weapons and they have a smashingly good time. And here you can see the original style movement trays from back in the day which of course allowed you to use the block formation. Now one thing that I did say about the models on the round bases from Age of Sigmar in the past is that you could make the models in dynamic poses. This is what it was like in fantasy on the square bases where your dwarves were really limited to how far they could reach without hitting the model beside them. All of these models had to end up in rank and file formation which was very difficult to do on those square bases. Here we have our command crew which includes the unit champion, the icon bearer and the musician. Now, although this unit doesn't really use the shields, I did add one in here just so that I could distinguish the unit champion from other models. One thing I like about the testers paints is you do get a very nice finish on the metallics, which lay down nice and easy and just flow on in place. Here we have the command crew from behind. And again, you can see that awesome chain mail on the back of their uniforms. Here they are from the side view, and you can see the nice runic script inside of each of their axes, as well as on the champion's axe. Again, very nicely molded and sculpted by Games Workshop of the time. Now the rest of our models have many different facial features, and heads and faces and axes and everything else that make each model a bit unique from the other soldier. Now if you've built these models in the past, we would love to see your pictures of them over on our Facebook page, and I'll leave the link for that in the description below. And how do you enjoy playing with these models? Let us know in the comments just how many good adventures you had with them in your army. Well, I hope you enjoyed that look at our Queen Helgar Dwarf Army with the two-hand weapon Great Warriors. And if you've built these models, don't forget to share them over on our Facebook page. I'll leave for that link in the description down below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with all your friends and family. And until next time, everyone, happy wargaming.